Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the new uh, example for UVFN, this talisman project that you're seeing right here. Uh, it's an amazing map. We're gonna go through the metahuman part and the uh, map portion. We're gonna look it all. So let's get started. Sadly, they were not released as samples for Unreal Engine. I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Uh, it is what it is, but we're going to take a look at them because uh, I remember when I saw the showcase, that was amazing. So let's just um, take a look at them. If you want to load them, you have the talisman with the metahuman is separated uh, from the talisman environment. So you got two of them. Just go into feature examples and you'll find both of them, the metahuman ones up here and the talisman environments uh, up here already created some projects. Let's uh, do let's let's look at the better human first. And I I've already played with this. I don't know. It says downloading reference content. All right. Here we have the project. And oh, dear Lord, this is cluttered to all oblivion. Jeez, look at all these decals. Now, the particular thing that I don't know if anyone can pitch in the comments. If I press G, a lot of it goes away, but some of it stays. So if anyone down in the comments know how to get rid of this thing, because it it's just it's not like Unreal where they all go away. I'm pretty sure there's something I'm not doing, and there has to be a way to take this out. Now this demo, the one for the metahuman, only contains the um, what I think it's the bridge of the ship. Uh, because if, if you go uh, after the source, there's nothing else. Um, I don't know if the rest of the level is just not loaded or if it's not there. It's actually pretty light, so I think it's probably not there. You got these two things. I'm guessing if you played the game, uh, this will be good for testing. Uh, one of the things I want to show you is how awesome this spaceship looks. It looks a little bit less realistic here than it did on on the showcase, to be honest. But all in all, this this looks incredible. I love all the uh, all the UI thingies and textures are are pretty good. The geometry is it's top notch. I, I think Fortnite is, you know, it, it has bring it, it has brought a lot of stuff to uh, a lot of good to Unreal Engine when it comes to optimizing stuff because Look at this, like the amount of geometry that it's in here is pretty awesome. And you can see there's a ton of detail here. So if somebody from Epic is watching this video, can you please, please release this as a sample for Unreal Engine? Yes, I know there are ways to take things out of UEFN into Unreal, but I don't want to use that. I don't want to be hacking things. I want things to be just available for us, please, please, pretty please. If you can make this an example for uh, Unreal Engine, uh, I promise I won't use the MetaHuman, but I, I would love to use the rest of the assets because this is so awesome. This is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, could, this is just amazing. There are no words of how good everything looks. Uh, one of the things that it's weird is how many lights they have. I'm guessing they are tuned differently because if I was in Unreal, I probably wouldn't have this many lights. I don't know. That's that's weird. One of the things that uh, you can see is this is a metahuman inside UEFN and she looks fantastic. I think this is not a groom. I think this is hair cards, but they they still look great. Look at the clothing. Look at how how the texture in the clothing looks, that's pretty high. I mean, for, for Fortnite, for, you know, this, this needs to perform in a lot of uh, consoles that are not as high end as PC. And I think the texture for this metahuman look amazing. Now, please stay tuned to the channel because we are going to be talking about the uh, Marvelous Designer pipeline that we got now to create custom clothing. So where you are using UEFN or you're using Unreal Engine, you are more than likely to use this pipeline to create custom clothing for your metahumans. So please stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you haven't, uh, leave a like and all that. But let's keep going. Uh, again, 
this is awesome she's just idling in there uh, i think she has an animation loaded if we go into the body you can see there's an animation loaded it's looping and it's playing um think this metahuman doesn't have the other blueprint stuff that the usual metahumans have in unreal but uh i i guess that's okay because you don't you don't need all that now uh there is a sequence here that we can locate uh there it is this is the cinematic and i'm going to double click it to load it so this is the one where she kind of talks there's music here so that's why i i haven't muted but i think it's pretty cool it shows the facial animation it's it's pretty good yeah her animations are pretty good and from the looks of it this is just a regular cinematic here in sequencer one of the things that i like about uvfn is that there if you use a camera component it actually has most of the things that you need for a cinematic um i may need to figure out how to take some of these out so I can construct a level and maybe record something in UEFN and uh, just take it out maybe bring in some of my own metahumans here and we'll make a video about that but yeah you have this sequence here if you want to look at it um, this would be the one if you're playing the demo where she actually greets you and talks to you all right let's load the other one so we gotta go to project and let's do um wait oh, my projects okay let's go this one where it's the actual full environment all right here we are in the actual map this is the full-on map and it does have a couple of uefn things here if you press g they go away but this is the whole map so we can explore i'm guessing this yeah th these are the dolls where you spawn uh where they did that on the cinematic i don't know if they were here and as you can see this these assets are amazing i'm pretty sure that you can make a cool sci-fi game now that you can make all sorts of games in uefn you can make a pretty cool sci-fi game with all these assets again please please let us have this as an example for unreal engine and these assets are amazing uh you get here and again i see all these lights uh i remember they they had an explanation for the way that they did lighting here so it's actually not expensive because there's a lot of lights in here and they're all xed out so that means they're static and they are overlapping each other uh, that's that's usually what happens in unreal but everything looks amazing like look at this this foliage man look at it this foliage is probably mega scans uh but all like this is all custom assets somebody created there's no mega scans for this and this looks so neat pretty sure i can do a cinematic with this and it would still look great all these assets are amazing and this is a fantastic ship like it's a very well realized and probably what I'm going to do is, if I can't take this, then I'll use it for concept. Because it does have a lot of things that I would like to have on my short film. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, this hologram. I'm a boomer, so I don't know what this is. It's probably a doll from Fortnite, I guess. Uh, but yeah, look at all these things, man. That's wild. And yeah, this I'm definitely using this for concepting because I need to concept some rooms for my short film. There's this, and uh, if we go, where did the player go? No, it wasn't through here. Okay, that's closed. Let's keep going. What is in here? There's that. Okay, so it's two doors. And there is this elevator. I'm guessing it's an elevator of some sort. Pretty cool stuff. And we can just keep going. And I think that's the end of it. Where is the main cockpit of this? Okay, I'm just going to cheat and go to unlit. 
And I'm going to travel and see where everything... There it is. Okay, so this is where the metahuman was. I'm going to make it lit again. And everything looks so neat. Yes, this, this cockpit is amazing. And again, I think I'm going to use it to concept things for my short film. And let us see. So I'm guessing you can spawn here too. Oh, wait, this is where you first start. So you can just go here and get into the cockpit, like right here and there. Uh, this is weirdly my favorite part of the whole thing because there's just so much detail, like all the cables are arranged in a very cool way. This must have taken a lot of time to build this. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite part of the ship. It's a lot of detail. So I guess you spawn over here and then you can just go and look at the ship or you can just go here and look at the cockpit, which I'm guessing this is like a mothership. And is this supposed to be Earth? Probably. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. So very awesome. Check it out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that know UEFN are going to make amazing maps out of this. And if not, let's look at the um, Ascent Gallery, which is usually the overview map. If you are an Unreal Engine developer like myself, you are used to this kind of map. All right. So this is the overview map. For us on real engine users and it's pretty cool it's very uh very well labeled you even have light functions which is amazing you got all your materials here and you can see the LEDs of the materials with the how they pop in and out well i'm very far away so that's that's not bad popping you got doors let's see if there's anything uh other than just static meshes, pipes and cables. I wonder, do you have splines in UEFN? I don't know. Can you turn this into splines and make cables and all that? There's also cable component in Unreal Engine. It should be pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at Bingo Night. What? You can actually read what they say. So they they are pretty pretty high resolution. You can read some of what it says here. That's awesome. And you can see all their environments. I love how everything is commented here and it tells you what is what. Like cargo hold, like you may want to use this for something else uh, than a cargo hold, but still, I think it's pretty neat that they named stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, all the examples from Unreal are always so neat. You got all the decals. That's why that ship was full of decals. This is an amazing way to do details and there are some assets in the unreal marketplace that are like this where you actually place decals and actually yeah i actually bought one and i think we should uh, visit that now that i i've seen this i'll probably make a video on me looking at the asset that i got for unreal engine that does this because this is a pretty cool way to add details without increasing um i'm, I'm sorry without decreasing performance because decals are pretty cheap uh, so even if you're making cinematic or doing something for the wall, adding decals is it's very useful. Let's look at wireframe. See, these are not pretty high. That is very surprising. I thought they'd be higher. If you look at this, these are super optimized. Unless I'm being presented with an LOD that I don't but see, actually, the higher end meshes are the ones like the cables because they are round. But everything else is, it's not that high. It's actually pretty low poly and it looks so good. This just looks amazing. Very impressive. Very impressive. Making stuff for games, it's, it's more than art. It's just, it, it's a lot of you know, being technical when you're making 3D assets. Uh, but I guess I'm, I'm going to leave it here before I start rambling about 3D art. Love this assets, by the way. Um, make sure you check these out. Just download UEFN. It should be there, just like I showed you in the beginning. Uh, and yeah, let me know in the comment sections if you want to see more content like this. 
let me know what you make of this. I'm pretty interested in what people are, are doing with this uh, kind of content. So you can hit me up on Twitter. There's the Discord. Uh, there's a patron if you want to help out the channel. Thanks a lot to my patrons that are on screen right now, always sponsoring my videos. Make sure to stay tuned because we're going to be talking about the Marvelous Designer license next. And um, I'll see you in the next one.